action. What's going on, good people? It's Dave Morero checking in. So I just wanted to do a quick video today as I am preparing to start my four-week mini-cut diet on Monday. Some of the things that I want to talk about is uh, preparing for a diet because I feel that a lot of people really don't discuss this because the mentality of people, uh, and this is before I, I, I became more educated, uh, I'm still learning, uh, but what I used to do was, you know, on a Friday I would say, okay, well, I'm going to eat whatever I want this weekend and, you know, I would binge out and, you know, just eat crazy. And then I say, okay, on Sunday I'm going to prep my food and I'm going to start my diet on Monday. And, and by Wednesday, you know, I'm back to, you know, going out to eat fast food. And this is a cycle. And I feel that, you know, most of us go through this. Um, you know, we start diets, you know, we, we stop, you know, we fail. And I don't want to say fail, but um, we don't, we're, we're not successful in achieving, you know, um, the weight loss that we want. So, to begin, what I like to do before I actually start my diet is I like to start two weeks before. So, I'm starting my diet on June 13th. So, probably about two weeks ago, I started cleaning up my diet. Um, so, for me, I like to drink diet sodas. And I like to have an occasional, uh, uh, some ice cream. This, let's say, I'm, I'm using that as an example. So what, I, what, what you want to do is, you know, two weeks before you actually start your diet, you want to start cleaning up your diet. So if you're drinking five or six diet sodas per week, and, uh, you know, you're eating ice cream, you know, five or six times per week, what you want to start doing is you want to start progressively cutting down on those foods uh, because for me in my opinion sugar fast foods the additives that are in the foods are like drugs you have to wean yourself off of it that's why you want to start you know two weeks in advance also the reason the importance of starting you know two weeks uh, before your actual diet date is that, you know, generally they say it takes about two weeks, you know, 14 days to build a habit. So what we want to do within these two weeks is we want to progressively start cutting down on, you know, the bad foods that we're eating. And also we want to start building good habits uh, to walk into our diet, meaning that to start cooking our foods. If we don't, you know, eat our foods in the morning, cook our, you know, foods in the morning, uh, we start doing that progressively. We don't have to do it every day within the, that two-week period, but we start. You know, we slowly start to build that habit so that when we actually start our diet, we've already built a routine. One of the key factors to have a, su a successful diet, and this is with anything in life, you know, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, is you want to build routines built around that goal. So, for weight loss, a routine that needs to be built is prepping your food and eating your food. So that's why two weeks before, you know, we slowly start to cut out the bad foods. We start to increase our water intake. We pretty much are, are flushing out our system of all of the toxins, the additives, the bad foods. And you'll notice you, you'll start feeling lighter. You'll start feeling healthier and that's the good mindset that you want to that you want to have when you're starting your diet uh, I feel that a lot of people don't talk about the mental aspect of dieting and working out which is so in that two week range um, that we are starting to progressively cut down on the bad foods a good thing to do is to write down what are you eating every day you know, get, get you a journal. Um, it is going to take some work on your part to be successful. It's not, it doesn't come easy. You know, you, you can't mitigate or you can't hard work. 
at the end of the day, hard work consistency is our key factors uh, to achieving weight loss. So within this two week period, you want to kind of see how are you eating, you know, um, because that'll kind of put things into perspective. And when you when you look at that, you can you can see that oh man you know I, I go to I go to Chick Fil A every day. He said that uh, you cannot outwork a bad diet, eating bad, and and, and there's truth to that. So uh, you know if your nutrition is not on point, then it, it's pretty much worthless working out, and that's why you probably you know. A lot of us, um, you know, you may have been to the gym, you know, you may go to the gym five, six, even seven times a week, but you still look the same. You're not losing the weight that you want to lose. And a lot of that is attributed to your nutrition. So that's why it is important to, to you know, place, you know, a lot of your energy and emphasis on your nutrition. And I feel that, you know, preparing and having a game plan um, for that is very important and these two weeks leading up to your diet um, will start to help build your confidence and uh, will make the transition easier so you know when it's time to come like for me tomorrow Sunday uh, June, June 12th you know I'm gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow I'm gonna prep my food and I've already started, uh, um, um, you know, my two weeks. You know, I started two weeks ago. Um, you know, we've all, we've only been eating out maybe once. You know, one two times a week. Um, and starting this week, you know, we we may only eat out once a week. So you know, it, it's a progressive approach that you want to take. Uh, I will be doing a part two video to this. Pretty much giving you a breakdown of my macros or calories that I'm that I'm starting with, and also what I'm going to be eating every day, and talk about how you can um, figure out how many calories, protein, carbs, fats you need because you know um, everybody's different. You know. Age plays a factor, height plays a factor, weight plays a factor, your activity level. All of these things play a factor which amounts to how many calories your body needs. And I will be discussing and giving you guys, you know, a run through on how to go about doing that yourself. Alright, well that's all that I have. I hope that this video was informative and helpful for you all. So uh, please leave comments below, subscribe. I would like to thank each and every one of you for taking your time out and uh, you know watching the video, uh, supporting me. I'm, I'm truly grateful and you all are the reason why I'm doing this, to help you guys out and, and to build a community, um, a, a support, a, a community where we all support each other. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't done so, please follow me on Instagram at Dave Marrero, D-A-V-E-M-A-R-R-E-R-O. -R -R -E and if you would like to get, uh, you know, a nice proof t-shirt or tank top. By the way, proof stands for pursue relentlessly, overcome obstacles fearlessly. That's the state of mind that you have to have to become successful. And since we're starting this four week mini cut, this is a good reminder to stay on track. So you can get it at www.proofsupply.com. Until next time.